Hello Sparks here and welcome back to Sonic Superstar. The last time we beat one of the most difficult worlds that we've ever played, and it makes me a little worried for what's next. Anyways, onwards to World 8, the Golden Capital. Interesting. Oh, so it looks like it has multiple acts. So this is in a transitionary zone. I wonder if this is going to be anything unlike anything we've seen in any Sonic game. Ooh, so far... Oh, is this another casino stage? Is it? Maybe. Looks like there's a temple in the background, actually. Whoa, what is going on with... Oh, I get it. It's like one of these. I like the arrows, honestly, because it, like, shows you where you're gonna go. And there isn't a chance that you're gonna fling off in the wrong direction. Oh, no, I do not want to see any prey mantises around here. Those things give me nightmares from... Oh, Metropolis Zone. I believe from the Sonic 2. If that's the wrong one, you, you tell me, please, because it's actually important. That I know it is not as important as playing this game. Clearly. Okay, let's get the shield and be careful not to actually get hit with you. Okay, so this dude is a lot better than he was in the classic Sonic games, honestly, because the Mantis gives you a warning before it actually attacks. Which is good, because those things were a pain in Sonic 2, and I'm glad that they actually changed them so they're less of a pain. Go! Here we go. Perfect. Whoa! Bonus stage! I guess no bonus stage. Whoa, are we in a drill right now? That's so cool! This is, must be another one of the gimmicks. Cool. I like that. That was a cool. It was literally just spamming A, but it was still cool nonetheless. Oh, lava. Cool. Don't mind lava. Of course we're playing as Tails, we can fly around, but... I don't really want to fly around if I don't have to. I know it kind of beats the whole reason of playing as Tails, but... I feel like playing as Tails is basically easy to mode. For any Sonic game. But it's still fun to play as him. Don't get me wrong. We're upside down now! That's so cool. Like, did we lose anything? What? I'm so confused. I thought we had a shield on. Oh, does the magnet shield not count as a shield? Does it only give you like... Oh, maybe it's just a magnet power-up and not a shield. This whole time I thought it was a shield. Oh, you can see Sonic in the background. That's cool. I think this is the first stage where you can actually see Sonic in the background. I feel like we were doing that wrong, so I'm just gonna do this instead. Now we can be like Sonic and hide in the background. Cool. I like that. Okay, I do not like this. I hope if we don't fall down that we get hurt. Let's just try to fly around and avoid all this stuff. Also, we need to try to get 50 rings so I can showcase Super Tails. Of course, that's very important. So actually, this is going to be a perfect spot to just uh, chill for a bit. And let's show off Super Tails real quick. There we go. Boom. Super Tails is looking very super. Let's see if they have increased flight speed. No, not at all. That's actually interesting. I didn't expect increased flight speed. Like, uh, Super Tails normally has. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. We're not playing these stages anymore because they're all looping. And I'm concerned that we actually need to get a perfect bonus, and I don't want to have to, uh, waste time on camera doing that. Of course, I'll be going back and 100 percenting those later on. See, now I understand why I skipped that goal, the uh, bonus stage before. Because I remember. Now let's keep showcasing Super Tails. Also, uh, Tails' unique ability. I actually want to show, like, see what that is. Oh, he does, like, little tornadoes. Interesting. Ooh, there's a fruit right there. I want that, actually. No, I want the fruit. No, please let me get back down. Come on, dude. Ooh, a blue ring. We should head towards that. I don't care about no fruit. Let's do the bonus stage. We've barely gotten to do any of these because we never find blue rings at all. I wonder if it has something to do with us completing the special stages. That we have to complete all the special stages in order for the blue rings to even show up. And like the first blue ring we found was just a tutorial. So that's why it gave it to us for free. Wait, Tails, Tails, Tails. Oh, is it this special stage again? I feel like we've done this already for the emerald. Interesting. 
Is there only a set amount of uh, bonus stages we can do? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fall into the abyss if I keep this up. And was, I remember this one being very tricky, and we're failing it really badly. Okay, we're gonna make sure that we're we keep going up as it goes up like this. So it's gonna go down and then it'll go up again. So we gotta watch out for that. But also we can make sure that we're keeping our timer healthy and stuff. This was definitely the hardest special stage. If we're repeating the same one, this feels exactly like the one we just did. Well, we didn't just do it, but one that we did for the emerald a long time ago. Don't remember which emerald it was, though. No, I need one. I need at least one. Oh, that would have been really good if they had one booster run. Oh no, we're gonna actually fail. That's not good. I'm not gonna restart if we fail this, because obviously it's just five medals, which we can get from the Sonic 1S bonus stage, plus we can find medals around. I'm not too concerned about it. Honestly. Anyway, let's just continue on going. Uh, do we turn back into Super Tails again? I feel like, nah. I'm good with just listening to the music. I wonder if there's like a uh, setting to disable supersonic music. If you select Emerald Power, X to activate Emerald Power. Nope. Nothing there. There might be a setting. It'd be cool if there was a setting, because before in Sonic Mini, you had to use cheat to disable supersonic music. Which, wait, there's just literally five medals sitting right there. I didn't even have to do that bonus day if I wanted those. But then I could have had ten medals instead. That would have been cool. Ah, I do not like those enemies. Those are definitely one of the more annoying kind of enemies in the game. But they're really not that bad when you can do protect this. There we go. Watch out for the rocks. I want to see what happens if we avoid all the rocks. So we can't avoid that one. Maybe there's something hiding inside the rock. Can we go back into the drill? No, it's crashed. Of course not. Why would we be able to go back into the drill? That doesn't make any sense. You need to get out of here. As for you, we need to avoid you. Oh, nice. Some more rings. So now we can become Super Tails if we want. Okay, now we're going upside down. So this is when these dudes are actually going to become a problem. We just gotta make sure that we don't hit them as they're transferring energy. Or before they can. But I don't get those enemies, honestly. I kind of sworn I did not hit the spikes that time. But I really did miss. That's weird. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're going a little fast right there. Ooh, nice, we get to go upside down again. Woohoo! Going upside down is actually a pretty cool mechanic. You see it not too often in video games, honestly. I feel like some video games are afraid of going upside down because it confuses the player, but upside down no longer confuses me. Not after playing Geometry Dash. Upside down doesn't confuse me in any video game anymore. It might have been just because I was small and still a child, but I didn't really comprehend upside down properly. This time, let's try and get the perfect bonus. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Well, no, actually, I'm serious. I wonder if see if there was a perfect bonus. So this time we're going to painstakingly collect all the rings in this special stage. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 that is bad. See, some of these rings are in really hard to reach places. It might be a good idea if we just jump right here. There we go. Perfect. We get this ring. And then this ring. And then this ring. Cool. So there's definitely a ring counter, so they might want us to collect these rings. Oh, I remember this special stage. This one was actually not that bad. We just gotta make sure that we don't fall into the red. And we should be good. My only issue here is collecting all these rings. And if collecting all the rings don't give us anything, we're not gonna do it, obviously. Cause, uh, okay, there's still some more rings right here. There we go. Perfect. Then we got some rings right here. Great. I do not want to grab that token because it's going to end this area. And I want to make sure that we collect it all the rings. I honestly feel like pretty confident that we did. We just going to make sure that we don't fall into the uh, red right there. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, now this one might be a little bit of an issue because these rings are and pretty hard to get reached places. So I have to do a weird sideways jump and then go back 
to rotate this again just to get to this one ring. Okay, those rings, these rings are death traps. Okay, so we gotta be careful. Okay, you cannot jump on crystals. That's interesting, I thought you could. No! I did not mean to do that. We'll see what it says. Perfect bonus. Zero, we didn't get the perfect bonus. Probably because we didn't collect all the rings. That's such a shame. That makes me a little upset, honestly. Oh, it's boss time! What? You just robbed me! That was not nice at all. Maybe we should have been super tailed. Okay, do we hit these lights back at you? Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we gotta make sure. Okay, do not hit them when they're pink. Got it. Good to know. We're not gonna have any rings anyway, so we might as well do this. That is so interesting. I wonder if you're super, would you lose rings? I'd imagine you wouldn't. Oh, we just gotta hit the top, and he drops our rings back. Interesting. Would this be a good time to use a tornado attack? Maybe. Whoa! I did not realize you got a death beam. I don't know why I was following up. Okay, we probably just easily hit you like a normal, honestly. Just bounce on you a couple times, and then boom. Okay, are you gonna do the laser again? Nope. I think you're gonna make us go underneath you. That was it? Uh huh. That was really easy. I like that boss. Had a cool mechanic too. Wait, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, that opened up. I didn't even notice. Wait. I wonder if there's any better secrets here. We haven't really found too many using the fan post, so. Should have been one of the first things to investigate too. Still got through Act 1. Ooh, the next act is Act Knuckles. Don't mind if I do, I'll definitely play Act Knuckles. I love playing these specific tailored character acts. They're so much fun. Golden Capital, Act Knuckles. Nice. Ooh, and this is like a Knuckles specific stage, which we haven't gotten yet. Okay. The, the climbing is a little weird. Oh, we can just smash through these, because we are tough! That's cool. I wonder if this stage is going to be more like a... Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely utilizing the glide a lot. In order to do anything here. I'm pretty sure we can just jump into this. Yes, we can. Ooh, but if we fall, we fall for video this time. So we got to be careful where we bounce, too. Okay, hopefully this takes us to a good area. It does, and this is the perfect time to showcase. Super Knuckles! Cool. Also, his glide is not any faster. Interesting. So they have superpowers. I guess it just makes them invincible because um, nothing here feels more powerful. Like movement speed, yes, but the glide isn't any faster or more powerful in any way. The tail's flight wasn't even faster either. Am I just imagining that the classic Kong games did that? Maybe I am. But I'm mostly not too sure. Also, I'll do this at a later time. So, I don't know why I keep jumping to the bottom of the stage. It's, I, it's out of habit. Because at this point, trying to watch me try and get perfect on every single one would not be fun. I don't even know if you get anything for getting perfect bonus either. That's another thing I didn't even know about. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Gotta remember that we don't have super knuckles anymore. Oh, that was close. Okay, there we go. Oh no! Jeez. So far, this golden capital stage is a lot, a lot easier than that factory stage. I wonder why. Maybe they just wanted to put a very difficult stage to mark. Hey, you're on the later part of the game. Did you notice? That might have been it. Who knows? Ooh, blue rings. Let's definitely do this one. Cause they're rarer. That's why I want to do them. I don't think we can get a perfect bonus here. Ooh, this one repeated. That's interesting. It's interesting that it repeated, actually. Honestly. So this time, let's actually try and beat it. But I want to see what happens if we collect all the rings. Do we get a perfect bonus? I don't think so, because the rings are just timer. Not anything too special. There we go. Go perfect. And then how do we actually even get this special save last time? 
I don't even remember, honestly. Okay, come on, Knuckles. Ah, uh, no, we're gonna fall all the way into the abyss. I don't know why I didn't let us grab into anything. Also, I did not mean to slide like that. We might as well just go after the emerald at this point. There we go. I really have to be safe and get in order to um, get the homing attack in. Oh, there's the rings that we missed. Let's collect these real quick. And then boom. Okay, this one I think I remember I tried cutting it off. By like running towards it like this. But then uh, I, I fell again. So let's try and cut it off again. This time let's try a sharper angle, I guess. Okay, yeah, we could definitely cut this off. Yes, there we go. Perfect. That one's definitely the trickiest one. Cool, did we get a perfect bonus in this stage? No, we just get ring bonus. Cool. We got five free medals, though. That's pretty cool. Anyways, let's continue on. As for you, boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Okay. Okay, bonus stage. No bonus stage can be the over 50 ring. Ah, I was not expecting that. I thought it was like a switch or something, but this thing launches you up really high, really quickly. Okay, cool, good to know. Did I automatically put us in a glide? We gotta use our glide here. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Boom! Perfect. I wonder what the story is of this place. It's a very interesting place. We've never seen anything like this in the Sonic game before. Some kind of- it's come, some kind of palace, really. Well, I know it's called the Golden Capital. But I think the stage itself we're traversing is a palace. Wait, hold on a second, do we have to defeat all the enemies to progress? Can Knuckles, like, punch or something? Oh, we didn't even check out Knuckles' special ability. Oh, it's like a- it's like a projectile punch. Cool. Oh, what if we need to go down here? That would make sense because we're knuckles. Boom, take this. Boom, you can even do it in the air. That's going to be pretty useful for boss fights. That's for sure. As for you, let's just go up here. Oh, not the, not these dudes. I don't like this dude. Ouch. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. We need to actually bounce on the spring kind of belief so we can get up here. Uh-huh. Wait, are we back where we are? No, this area just looks familiar. That's all. What? I should have clinged on to that. Why didn't I cling on to it? Oh, Knuckles can literally do this? That's funny. Could I actually get back up there? That'd be so funny if the game let us. Oh, we can just cheat our way back up there, so it doesn't matter. Well, it's not cheating, it's an intended game mechanic. I do not know why we weren't allowed to actually do that, honestly. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Cross the Golden Bridge! To where? I have no idea. Uh, I was afraid I was gonna get launched into something, but... Okay. Because last time we did enemies, we launched us straight up into enemies. Crazy. Now, I wanna see if there's any secrets on this top path. Like, these balloons, I mean, these, uh... These, uh, bubbles are deliberately like this, aren't they? There we go. So what is up here, then? What kind of secrets lie up here? Is this just an alternative top half? It feels like an alternative top half, honestly. At this point, being here feels like an alternative top half. Cool, so it must be a shortcut. These are definitely my least favorite enemies. No! Oh, I meant to switch to the burst power, but I didn't do it quick enough. I mean the bullet power. Sorry, that would have been good. There we go. Okay, I did not mean to do that, but that works out. Perfect. So can you not cling on to these? You can. I uh, don't know what I did last time that prevented us from clinging on to these. So let's just take this normal path, I guess. There we go. So this time we need to really be paying attention to where we're gliding. What I could do is try slowing down time, maybe? I don't see why any of these demo powers would help us here. Except for Super Knuckles, which we can't get. What if we weren't like this? And then like shimmied our way around like this. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then that one we could just go through like that. Cool. So let's just continue on. 
Yeah, we gotta be careful. But so, uh, ooh, there's a token right there that we missed. I don't want to get that. I, oh, I get it. You probably can't hit them while they're spinning. That might be it. Let's use the burst here. It's a lot easier to get a second that one than actually trying to jump around and glide. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, that was close. I almost just died right there. And I said this stage was not hard. I'm about to get my words, aren't I? Probably. Who knows? Hey, wait. There we go. There we go. I'm pretty sure we timed that pretty well. Oh no, our platform's falling apart. Oh no, oh no. We cannot fall too much. If you fall too much, that's how you fall into bottom pit. Actually, speaking of bottom pit, have you found any? I, maybe that. I feel like that chase section in the first stage would have definitely been a bottom of pit. But other than that, I don't think we have. Okay, now you're no longer spinning. I can get ya. Or if I'm underneath you, I can get ya. Interesting. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is just a trap all together. Oh, you were you weren't spinning. Yeah, you still Oh, it must be they can't be spinning and you have to avoid the actual drill things. Very interesting. Hey, what are these things? What do they do? Let's find out. Oh, it just spawns in more rings. Interesting. I might consider just switching to Super Knuckles permanently. Just because of how annoying these enemies are. You might as well just try and collect enough rings for that. There we go. 48. 51. This is definitely enough to transform. And to the Super Knuckles. There we go. Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, Super Knuckles. I just did not mean to act deactivate it. That was my bad. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Oh, maybe we have to destroy all the enemies. Maybe that's what that egg mess switch means. Or maybe it just means you need to try a different path? It probably just means you need to try a different path, honestly. I would not see why we'd have to do destroy all the enemies in a Sonic game. That just sounds like such a silly objective. Anyways, unfortunately that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. What is that? Oh, we just found treasure, I guess. Ooh, nice. You play as metal knuckles in the shop. No. Okay, for real, bye.